a mic at input. Oh, I could tell it what to do. Uh, let me try something here. Okay, so I just hit this, I guess. So I'd say, um, what time? Oh, what time of day is it? No, it's not doing it. I don't know how that works. Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll type it. All right. Anyways, uh, so you guys want to play this with me? Let's just see how far we can get with it. I was actually really impressed with this yesterday. <clears throat> and uh, this will also help me test bandwidth while we're on the show. So far, no frames dropped. Nope, we dropped 16. Why? Why did we drop 16 frames? That could just be that Comcast is just on the... It's always on the like sloppy side. The DSL backup I use is a lot more consistent. But not today. Anyway. So here's what we've got from our... Uh, what we know so far about our little game. Let's play a text-based adventure game. I'll be your guide. You're caught upside down in a sticky web of, sorry, of silk three feet off the ground. You're looking around trying to think of a way out of this predicament. You notice that your trusty boot knife has fallen to the ground. If you stretch your arm far enough, you might be able to pick it up and free yourself. An old boot knife lies on the ground just within reach. All right, so Zork style. Uh... We're gonna do this, right? So let's see. What do you guys What do you guys think? I think I'm just gonna say pick up knife. You pick up the knife. The spider that created this web may still. It's thinking. It's thinking. Uh, may still be watching you from somewhere. It's probably. It's probably too smart to let you go just because you have a knife think that you've seen the spider making its way toward you. You think that if you could get this web off, then you could have a better chance of being faster than the spider and escaping. But how to do that? You remember that in Boy Scouts, you once saw someone start a fire in a few minutes. It was amazing. All right, so we're going to, we're going to, we can go crazy with this. We can say anything because this thing has no, there isn't, there's no game here. This is AI responses. Oh, it's dropping again. Damn it, internet. If you do this to me today. All right, I apologize for any hiccups and hangups. This appears to be behaving a little fruity. Hold on. What does this say? Okay, we may have discovered something here. Hold on. Yeah, hmm. All right, well, let's answer the question first and then I'll come back to this. All right, so we can do weird stuff like I turn into the Hulk and free myself from the web. Your shirt tears off from your growing muscles, leaving you bare chested. Uh, and are now strong enough to break the silk threads that are holding you there. You look around the trees. There doesn't seem anything around you. You do notice that you still have a bit of web around your chest, although it's not sticky. They're definitely there. A faint scratching sound from behind the tree suggests that the spider is still there, still looking for a way to trap you again. Um, yell. Come out, spider. I am the Hulk and would like to murder you right now. The spider pops out from behind the tree. It looks absolutely mortified. Why would it be mortified? That's a little weird. The spider turns in circles, uh, trying to figure out a plan, but it is all in vain. There's no way the beast could outrun a man the size of the Hulk. The spider is cornered and it knows it. It raises its two legs and surrender. I give up, it says. Oh, it's a speaking spider. I give up. I just can't keep running when there's nothing uh, to hold on to. How about some mercy, Mr. Hulk? I 
P on the spider with my Hulk P. Let's see what happens. The spider gets doused in your Hulk P that smells like something from another dimension. That sounds right. Um, the spider is terrified. I can't understand why this has happened. Uh, it can only assume it was the gods that have done this to it. The spider decides its best course of action is to get away as far from you as possible. It begins to flee to some other tree. Smash the spider before it gets away. Spider tries to run back, but you smash it hard enough that it goes. Dot, dot, dot. Thinking, thinking. AI generating. It dies, but its corpse is still attached to the sticky web. This makes the spider's body fall from the tree onto your head. It doesn't hurt much, but it's a bit icky. You are free uh, to leave now and go on your adventure. You have no weapons, but the Hulk, with the Hulk strength, perhaps you don't need weapons after all. Uh, let's go north. You start heading north. It's hard to walk through these trees since you dot, 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 AI, AI, thinking, thinking. You're so large, so you end up just trying to break them. The trees are thin enough for that. And you manage to clear a path by breaking tree after tree. After about 20 minutes, you come upon a town. The town is small, and there must be not many people living there. It looks like there are less than 20 buildings. There's a small town center with a, a few houses, a few shops, and a tavern. Um, go to tavern. You walk, or you enter the tavern, you walk inside. The tavern is filled with tables, or sorry, filled with, or there, sorry, there are a few tables. Oh, the tavern is small and cramped. There are a few tables filled with men drinking beer and a few on a break from the hunt. One of these men is playing tavern drinking game. At the bar, there's a bartender who is cleaning his glasses. His eye glasses or drink glasses? He's cleaning beer mugs, not his eyes. The bartender looks up at you and you come inside. Bartender, what brings you here, giant? Do you have a quick wit? If you do, you can respond to him with a witty retort or remark. Uh, we're going to say, I am the Hulk and I am here to wed your daughter. The bartender laughs. Success. Okay, what do we get out of this? You're not getting any of my daughters, big fella, but if you want some beer, then I'll give you two mugs for free. He pours two mugs of, of some very high gravity, high ABV beer. What is ABV? Okay. Drink one beer but break the other over the bartender's head. Success, the bartender is surprised. He didn't expect you to smash the bunk over his head. He falls to the ground unconscious. It may take him a few minutes to regain consciousness. A few of the patrons come and see what's happening, but when they see your giant size, they decide to sit back down. See, we can get as weird as we want. Um, how about this? Shit in my hand and throw it at the closest patron. Success. You throw the turd at the closest patron. The patron, dot, 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 is shocked and grossed out. Uh, he jumps to the tavern. Jumps to the tavern? Why is this blocking this? Oh, let me move that over a little bit. I think it's effed up. To the tavern. Uh, he he jumps to the tavern, are also shocked and grossed out. That doesn't make sense. Uh, they are now on the opposite side of the, of the what? Okay. Patron, there's a crazy man in this tavern that is throwing turds at us. I think something, something. Why is it cut off? It's just straight up cut off. A group of patrons go outside. The others are leaving as well. Uh, throw a 
large grenade into the middle of the tavern and run outside for cover. You run out to the nearest tree and pull the grenade out of your pocket. You throw the grenade into the tavern. It explodes the deafening explosion. After a few seconds, you look back to see the tavern. It has been leveled. There's fire everywhere, burnt wood littering the inside of the tavern. The bartender and patrons are all gone. Okay. Um, stand tall and repeat the pledge of allegiance. I can't spell allegiance. Allegiance. As if there were a crowd there. You stand tall, place one foot forward, extend your arm to the sides, and sing the Star Spangled Banner as loud as you can. That's not the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, the trees and animals in the forest join in singing the Star Spangled Banner. You are an icon of American patriotism and pride. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Set fire to my hair and yell, you got, you got, you got what I need. Success. The nearby trees all burst into flames. <laughs> The fire is burning fast. This is all your fault. You continue to sing and shout as loud as you can. You look up at the sky, and with tears in your eyes, you cry out, America! And now you're a legend of Americans. You are now a legend of Americana. Uh, you are more patriotic than most people in human history. Wow. Uh, get into the closest BMW and drive to Vegas. success. The closest BMW is just down the road. There are no people around it, so no one tries to stop you. You've seen a lot of GTA videos where people run from the cops, so you decide that's what you'll do. You drive around like a madman trying to lose your car. After a few minutes, though, you realize that you can only you can easily outdrive anyone, so you drive to Vegas. Let's see. What's good? What do you want next? <laughs> um, turn back into my normal self and get a room at the Cosmo. You're now back in your normal form. A human with a beer, beer, a beer belly and a reciting hairline. You need to go, <laughs> go to the hotel desk. And ask what rooms they have. They have a bunch of suites available. You take the suite with four rooms for the night. Four rooms? Why do I need all that room? You ask yourself, why do I need all that room? As you are asking yourself this, you realize that you are in a giant form again. So with that, you grab a bottle of whiskey and go up to the roof. You get to the edge of the roof and look down. The city is all below you. And a little ways off, you see a building that looks exactly like the bar down there. You're going to have the best night. Uh, leap off the building and land on a moving car. Success. I've done that. You land on the, on the hood. The car comes to a stop. It's a nice new Rolls, Rolls Royce. There are no passengers in the car. You're having one wild night. Um, spend the entire night slowly eating the car. Success. You are in the middle of Las Vegas Boulevard. You are slowly eating the car. The crowd on the strip is gathering around you uh, and staring. They love what you're seeing, or what they're seeing. Your giant form is easily visible by everyone. While you are eating the Rolls Royce, the Rolls Royce uh, people are taking pictures. You know something historic is happening right here. 
<laughs> um, come on, give me another, give me a, give me an idea here. What can we do next? What's something gnarly I can do? It's already pretty gnarly. Um, let's see. Call my mom on my phone and ask her to forward money for hookers and blow. Success, you call your mom. Mom, hello, she says. Uh, hi, mom. Oh. Mom, it's your son, the Hulk. Listen, I need money and I'm in Vegas. Mom, you said you'd never go to Vegas. You. I know, but I did and I need money. Mom, how much? I don't have a lot. At least 10 bucks. Sure, I'll give you $10 as soon as you get home. I need you to wire me the money, Mom. Stat. You use your big giant hands to get the $10 via online banking. <laughs> <laughs> it goes through. The $10 is now in your bank account. The crowd has gotten even bigger, and they are all watching the destruction of the Rolls Royce. Oh, I've had failures before. I've died in this game. Do I still have the boot knife? You still have the boot knife. It is... Dot, 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 dot. Thinking, thinking. Boop, beep. Still at the bottom of your giant boot. You're now feeling very tired. You have been a wild night after all. Maybe it's time to get some rest. You can go for a nice walk. You can check out the strip. See what things there are to do. You still have money and a bottle of whiskey. Find the nearest strip bar. Go in. Sweet. Success, everybody. It's just down the street. You head in. There's a lot of people there. You stand off to the side for a moment and observe the scene. You see a lot of people drinking, dancing, and having a good time. There are a few dancers performing on the stage well. Bartender walks up to you. Can I help you? Is this a full nude bar? Bartender style, but doesn't seem to care much. Yeah, it is. What can I get you? I would like one hamburger that uses the uh, left, let's see, no, the, um, uh, uses old um, removed human organs as the meat, please, oh, and fries on the side. <coughs> Sort of disturbed angel. I'm still trying to work it out. We got a few missing frames here that I'm a little bummed about, but I think we're getting there. Success. Uh, he looks stunned. He puts a <laughs> stoic face, gets to work immediately. A few minutes later, it's a small bar, so he's done fairly quickly. He brings over a hamburger and some fries, sets them down. The burger and fries smell amazing, as if they came from a five star restaurant. The fries are thick cut, and there are a lot of them. The burger is perfectly cooked, and the cheese is perfectly melted. You can't wait to take a bite. Ask the bartender if this is the organ meat you requested because the Hulk doesn't just eat anything the bartender nods yes this is the organ meat you requested he hands you the plate it's heavy you pick up the hamburger and it's a lot bigger than you were expecting you take a bite you've never tasted anything so delicious in your entire life you're hooked great I have now I have a taste for human flesh all right what does the Hulk do next um, you, uh, use your boot knife to stab the bartender. You use your boot knife to stab the bartender. He screams. Patrons in the bar are shocked and they flee. The bar is now empty. A few seconds later, the cops arrive. You're taken into custody. You are now in prison. Well, that was quick. The law worked fast there. Break out of the puny prison 
for I am the Hulk, after all. <coughs> Success, you break out of the puny prison. You are now roaming the streets of Las Vegas again and having a wild night. You continue to party hard here in Vegas or go home. <laughs> it's trying to lead me to get out of there. <laughs> um... Uh, how large are my Hulk breasts? Let's just see if we can get some description here. Success, but barely. You go back to normal. There's more. Hang on. A normal body. A human with a beer belly and receding hairline. Your female form looks about the same as your male form, except now you're wearing a bra on top. That's it. You look in your, at your shirt, but it still says Hulk smash. You're still the Hulk, but only in body. You are now a female Hulk with a beer belly and a receding hairline. <laughs> I've broke. I think I've broken the robot. The robot does not know what to say. All right, I'm going to say, uh, "Wake up from my dream." Let's see what it does. Success. You feel a massive hangover. Oh, it's not. It's. Craziest night ever, right? But did I though? Was any of it real? As you sit and think, you can't shake the feeling, probably, that it's at least some of the crazy night you had was real. The rest is a blur, though. Your head is pounding from the ha the hangover. Go mow my lawn. <laughs> You go down to your lawnmower, which just so happens to be in the street. You step into your yard, put the key into the ignition of the lawnmower. You start at the lawnmower and start mowing your lawn. As you're moving your, mowing your lawn, the sun is shining over you. A cool wind is blowing. It's a beautiful day. See, I've broken out of my dream entirely. Uh, let's see. I mow the lawn naked. Let's see if it... Let's see if uh, the computer wants to help me. You decide to mow your lawn naked. Neighbors, probably. Nay. <laughs> Neighbors are looking at you, and you're now famous for being the crazy person that mows the lawn naked. The neighbors are talking to each other, saying, Is that crazy man mowing his lawn naked? This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Snip off my doodle with the knife and throw it at old lady Peterson next door. Success, but barely. <laughs> and you may not consider it a success at all. Warning, you do it. Everyone in the street witnesses this. A few seconds later, you are arrested by the police. You are in prison again. You are put in solitary confinement. Um, hmm. Where is my severed doodle? You look around your prison cell. The walls are made of cold concrete. There's only a small window. You see the light of day in the window. The only furniture in the cell is a bed with no pillow or blanket. The toilet with just a hole in the ground. You still have your boot knife with you. Yeah, but where'd my... You didn't answer my question! Is the danger thing of them saying don't talk about doodles? Is that what's going on? I immediately barf everywhere and call for a guard. And I spelled immediately wrong. Danger. You still you start throwing up all over the prison cell floor. A little while later a guard comes over. He's an older man. He seems a lot seen a lot in his lifetime. Well, now we get to clean up that mess. He sighs and goes get him get gets a mop. Escape while he opens my cell door. Danger for real. You managed to get past the old man. Why is this danger? But then you hear the cops coming. The sirens are getting louder. The cops are getting closer. You're in a bit of a panic. What's going to happen to you? If they catch you, they'll put you in prison for the rest of your life. Your mind is racing and you find yourself shaking in fear. You have to get out of here and you have to do it quickly. Turn into Gal yeah. 
Eat the planet. Galactus. Am I spelling that right? I think so. Yeah. Danger. You decide to call upon the power of Galactus and... Oh, this, it's killing me. I don't know what to expect here. And become Galactus. However, before you can get the full energy of Galactus, the, <laughs> the cops shoot at you with their shotguns. You were struck three times. But then they finally hit you in one of your weak points. The bullet ricochets and kills the cops. <laughs> the other cops are still in their cars. They are driving away, leaving. Uh, and leaving. It seems the cops have given up trying to apprehend you. <laughs> Turn into... Batman save Gotham from itself. <laughs> I've become Bat Hulk. You are now on top of the highest building in Gotham, staring at your enemies below, and they are all on the street. They're not looking up, though. They can't seem to see you, but that doesn't matter. You're now going to teach these criminals what being a criminal really means. <laughs> Urinate on my enemies below with my special bat pee. Your bat pee blinds all of your enemies, uh, leaving them vulnerable. The civilians in the street are in shock. You are now Bat Hulk. You are very dangerous. You don't have the skills of a bat with the strength of a big, strong Hulk. There's no way you can lose. Should I get a cease and desist from DC and Marvel to work together on this one? I guess I don't have a doodle. That's just the way it is. Um... Okay. <clears throat> I also have Captain America's sh shield. You have Cap shield. You fly down from your building and start to beat up the bad dudes. Some of them get up and start shooting. The Captain's shield blocks the bullets. You throw the shield like Captain America does and return it to you. You're kicking the butts of every bad guy you can find. Where is the Joker? You look around and see that all the bad guys, probably, guys have been taken care of. The only one left is the Joker. You remember this person is supposed to be the baddest. <laughs> I remember it. Oh, I remember. The Joker is on another rooftop. He's looking at you and he's laughing. He pulls out his Joker gun and starts shooting at you. Hmm. Dodge. You dodge. The gunfire misses you. The Joker is... Furious. He continues to shoot at you, but he, but he can't hit you. You start throwing your shield at him. It bounces back and forth between the buildings. Each time the shield hits the Joker, he takes damage. He's wounded. The Joker finally has no more ammo left in his gun. It looks like you've, been, you've beaten the Joker. Teabag the Joker. You teabag the Joker. The Joker is so enraged that he punches you in the face, causing some damage. You take a swing at him, but he dodges. This fight is going very well. You're both skilled fighters. <laughs> All right, I'll do what you say in the chat. Become Dr. Manhattan. You have become Dr. Manhattan. <clears throat> You're more powerful than ever before. You can create and destroy anything you want. You are a god. The Joker is at your mercy. You can do anything you'd like to him. Turn the Joker into... Um, Sean William Scott. You turn the Joker into Sean William Scott. Success. The Joker is very confused. He doesn't know where he is and what just happened to him. It seems you've won. Ask him, dude, where's my car? Disaster or disaster is the Joker. It's up to you. Whatever that means. 
to the side. Success. The Joker looks up at you and smiles. What are you talking about? You're spine, dude. I'm talking about your car. Where the heck is it? Joker looks confused. He looks across the street and sees that his car is gone. He had not realized it was stolen. The Joker looks stunned. He's never had his car stolen before. You might have to help the Joker get his car back. No. <laughs> I'm not helping him. The Joker's devastated. He starts to cry. The Joker cries, my car is gone. I can't believe some thief took my car. I love that car. The Joker's very sad. He's now very emotional. He's an emotional wreck on the street. He sits down on the sidewalk and cries. Kick him really hard in his tenders. You kick the Joker in his tenders. The Joker now hates you. The Joker says to you, why would you do that to me? I never deserve that. I'm going to get revenge on you for what you did. He starts to transform into a monster and starts running towards you, punching and kicking. He is now the Joker in monster form. I teleport him to Mars. To the Mars surface. Because that's what Dr. Manhattan would do. Success. You teleport Monster Joker to the Mars surface, but he is not done with you just yet. He pulls out a laser rifle he brought to the from the Martian store. <laughs> See? This is where the computer starts to lose it. And begins to shoot you. You are now fighting the Monster Joker on the surface of Mars. I teleport back to Earth and leave him on Mars. I don't have time to go to the Martian store. That is some horse shit there. Success, you teleport back to Earth. The next day... Oh, we're jumping a day, are we? You hear on the news that there is a monster joker on the loose. The monster joker seems to be running towards Earth. Running towards Earth? The world panics. The army's trying to stop the monster joker before it gets to Earth, but they can't seem to do it. Send... John... McClane... to... stop... The monster Joker. You tell jo you tell John McClane about the situation. He immediately flies to Mars and fights the monster Joker. It's a tough fight, but John McClane manages to take the monster Joker down. Give John McClane. knighthood for his fine work he deserves it John McClane gets knighted for his ba bravery everyone is happy about this except the monster joker he can't stand the fact that he lost we gotta do something about the monster joker guys what do you want to do about him I feel like we I feel like we gotta do something serious here can we do to, to, to hurt, harm, or maim the monster joker? All right. Um, destroy the monster joker. An air occurred? Don't be doing that to me. Kill the monster joker. Oh, we killed it. Oh, John McClain killed the Monster Joker. John is now the most popular man in the world. Everybody's so happy with him. He has solved he has solved world peace. Wow. Um decide that you I love John McClain and would like to engage in coy coitus with him you know, consensual of course but me and John McCain we're buddies now but John McClain rather when he is when you say that he is taken aback as you might be you know if you're John McClain John McClain says I'm sorry what the heck was that everybody's now looking at you it's pretty awkward what will you do um okay uh, I will say, fine, 
Tell me a joke then. Tom McLean starts to tell jokes. They are thinking, thinking, actually really bad. Everybody around you listening to the jokes and laughing, but you are not amused. You're now extremely bored and annoyed. Kill John McLean. John realizes you're going to kill him. He uses his incredible strength to throw you across the room. The other knights are looking at you. They all have their weapons drawn and aimed at you. <laughs> the other knights, uh, you're now go you have nowhere to go. You're not getting out of this alive. <laughs> you fart a poison cloud in the room. It stinks. They cannot breathe in the room. And they <laughs> smell nothing but your bad fart. They are very annoyed. Some of them are trying to shoot at the clouds with their arrow guns. But they miss. One of the knights gets a headshot on you. And you take a lot of damage. You now have poisoned status effect. And you lose 5 HP per turn. Oh, shit. Alright. I'm Dr. Manhattan, though. Um... Call James T. Kirk on my phone and ask him to come and save me. James T. Kirk comes out of nowhere and says, I can't believe you have summoned me to this phone. <laughs> They're using this phone. He looks at the knights and says, are you all going to bow to me, or should I destroy each one of you one by one with my laser rifle? The knights are confused. They don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, now here's where we get interesting. Podcaster Scott Johnson enters the room. Scott Johnson enters the room. James, or James T. Kirk, pulls out his laser rifle and starts shooting at Scott. They have a battle, and it's a really close fight. It's hard to tell who's going to win, but you know they both that they both were very skilled fighters. That's not true at all. Um, how is my health? This is so freaking dumb. I love it. Danger, you've taken a lot of damage today. The poison status effect has been doing a lot of damage to you. Your health is at 5 HP. Do you have any healing potions left? This is not going to be easy to come back from. I don't know. Um, let's see. Eat the um, Oreo I have in my left pocket. Take the Oreo from your pocket and eat it. Success. Your health is restored by 20. The poison stat effect is now gone too. You might have a chance after all. Who knew just eating a freaking Oreo would do the job? <laughs> uh, all right. Um, let's see. Kill everyone in the room with my brain. I'm Dr. Manhattan, after all. You use your incredible brain to kill all the knights in the room. James T. Kirk is impressed with you. Well, he's supposed to die, too. Well done. I think that you would, uh, I didn't think I'd see another person in my lifetime with a brain as powerful as mine. My brain can destroy almost anyone. I'm going to be watching you very closely from now on, says James T. Kirk. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Well, then, kill Kirk with my mind. Kirk uses his laser power to create a shield. Oh, jeez. He doesn't take any physical damage anymore. He says, I've been watching you. Your mind is very powerful, but it is no match for my mind. I'm the most powerful mind in the galaxy. I can outthink you. I can outthink anyone. You and Kirk have a serious mind battle. It's close. It's a close one again. <laughs> Kick 
Kirk in the nuts. Success. You kick James Kirk right in the nuts. He looks stunned and hurt. He can't believe what you've done. You've taken a huge step forward in his mind battle. <laughs> James Kirk's defense drops a lot. He has now taken negative 20 defense. I'm sorry. I have, to ca I have to screen cap this. This is too good. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. What do we got? Anything good? Summon Gorn. I like it. Because this might actually do something. Because the machine learning is supposed to learn all they do about Kirk. So it should know this about Kirk. Gorn is very powerful. He's a huge monster that eats and destroys whatever he wants. Gorn has a bad temper. He's not happy about being summoned. How dare you summon me and not give me a chance to eat. He sees all the knights. It's John hinges and he starts to eat all of what he sees. You have won this battle. Did the Gorn eat Kirk? Yes, the Gorn ate Kirk and destroyed him completely. It's pretty good. <laughs> I want your brain, he says. He starts to sprint toward you. This is toward you. It's not very good. Um, all right, well, let's see. I'm about done with my test anyway, so we're going to see if we can kill myself. Let him eat me. Starting with my feet. Oops, I misspelled feet. Triple E. You let the Gorn eat you. Disaster big time. There's more. It eats all of your body except for your brain. Your consciousness lives on. But the Gorn didn't eat your brain, so you don't have control of your body anymore. The Gorn gets up, and your former body, including your feet, falls to the ground. The Gorn says, ha, 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 I'm going to take all the brains I can get. I think you're first on my list. You are in trouble. <laughs> Am I dead? As of now, you are still alive, but... <laughs> Option one, convince the Gorn not to eat you. It may convince him to eat something else. Option two, somehow fight the beast and have him not eat you. Number three, use your former body to attack the Gorn. Number four, summon an ally that will help you fight the Gorn. Let's summon an ally. Let's do option four. You summon your ally, Picard. <laughs> Picard is a formidable fighter. Picard gets a chance to attack the Gorn, but this fight is not going easy. The Gorn hits Picard really hard, and Picard starts to feel weak. The Gorn is a tough opponent. This is going to be tough. Summon 400 small spiders. Let's see if we can make some chaos. You summon 400 small spiders. They are... Dot, 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 pretty harmless. The tiny spiders start to crawl onto the Gorn and bite it, but it only annoys it. The Gorn is really angry now. It roars at you and says, I am not weak. I can destroy everything and everyone. The Gorn is now even stronger than before. It looks like this fight is about to blow up in your face. You have to come up with a really good plan. Oh my gosh, I just want to die. I'm just a brain. Kill my brain. Summon four lights. Dude. <laughs> uh, thought about a brain explosion the Gorn's mind controls is too strong he can see what you're thinking he takes control the Gorn stops you says hey I know what you're thinking you won't get away with this you will not defeat me he starts to shoot fire at you you're burned slightly the Gorn doesn't look amused well why don't you just let me die then summon four lights why does my eye hurt so bad you summon four magical lights these lights are very powerful when the Gorn sees them he gets very scared He's mad now. He's not going to do nothing. The Gorn shoots more fire at you. As firepower has increased, this battle is very intense. Well, that didn't do anything. Um, ask Wesley Crusher to beam you out of here fast. Wrestling Crusher, here's my call, comes to help. He's supposed to just beam me out. 
Wizard Crusher is a highly skilled fighter. He knows how to use magic and weapons very well. Crusher attacks the Gorn with a lightning fast katana slash. The Gorn is surprised by the attack. It loses lots of health and is now bleeding. Really? It's Wesley Crusher? All right. Summon God. I like this idea. Success, disaster, success. You summon God. This is very dangerous. Since God doesn't always listen to what people tell him. He's kind of weird like that. God shoots bolts of lightning at Gorn. The Gorn has lots of problems now. It is very weak. The Gorn is really angry. It decides it can't lose this battle. It tries to use its mind control abilities on God, but God is a God. It doesn't work. God shoots fire at Gorn, and the fire is very powerful. The Gorn is now burned to ashes. <laughs> Summon God's God. You ask God for his God's help. You are lucky. God's God is actually kind of a good guy. He says, sure, I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to illustrate this. Um, he's incredibly powerful. He's much more powerful than God. God's God puts his hand up. The earth st starts to shake. There's a huge rift in the earth. A portal to another dimension falls on Gorn. The Gorn is done. It will never trouble you again. <laughs> Summon a an aging porn actor <laughs> success I can't believe this is ac is actually a thing you do thing you what can do but here we go you summon an aging actor oh they took the porn out the actor's very famous reputation something something why are you doing this <laughs> wait the Gorn sees the actor and starts to shoot lasers at him the Gorn is dead we have killed the Gorn Oh my gosh, dude. I can't kill myself. All right, you know what? Kill myself. Sorry, I don't like that language, but I got to kill my character. You shoot yourself. The guns you the gun you've used is from a time period that is very recent, so a radiation it, the radiation is powerful enough to destroy you. What? The Gorn is now alone and has no one to fight. It is so angry that it decides to leave <laughs> leave the planet. You have won this battle. <laughs> The battle we won is the one we decided not to fight. Oh my gosh, this is great. Okay. Am I dead? You are dead. But the god you summoned earlier was watching you and decides to bring you back to life. You are now alive with 175 life. Uh, god says to you, I was watching you fight and you did pretty well with what you have. If you want to leave this place, uh, you can do that with this sword. Hands me a katana. It's incredibly sharp. Uh, stab myself in the heart with the sword. You are surprised by your own action. You are really... Am I, though? I wrote it in. You are really good at stabbing yourself. You almost kill yourself. <laughs> Wait, he gave me the sword! All right, the god is very excited... Or, sorry, angry that you would do such a thing. The god says, how dare you stab yourself with a sword? I wanted you to destroy the Gorn. What was its main pur That was its main purpose. The god seems to be reconsidering whether you are worthy enough for his help. You take a step back. The god does not look very happy at the moment. <laughs> uh, for those just joining us, this is an AI machine learning driven text adventure where it's just, you can put anything in here you want. I could type monkey. And it will have something to say. You summon a monkey. The monkey is pretty something. Better be more than just pretty. The monkey is pretty strong. Its main attack is throwing poop at people to stun them. The monkey looks angry and starts to aim for the Gorn. The Gorn seems more annoyed than hurt. It starts to shoot fire at the monkey. I swear we've cold, killed the Gorn three times. And I killed James T. Kirk and John McClane. All right. Uh... And the universe. I destroy the very fabric of the universe. You are not sure why, but you feel stronger to destroy the universe. You watch as everything goes up in flames. The Gorn is also destroyed. <laughs> Finally, the Gorn. But if but you have a problem, you know I've destroyed the universe. It is now impossible for you to return to your own dimension. You are now stuck in a new place called nothingness.
Why wouldn't that kill me? Why wouldn't that kill me, I mean? Uh, <laughs> cease to exist. I like that one, chat. Cease to exist. Success. You finally make the last sacrifice. Comma. And destroy yourself. Unfortunately, you have forgotten that God can see everything. God is very upset that you did this. He comes to you with nothing. Listen, says, you have doomed us all. God says that if you don't return to your normal life in 15 seconds, the whole universe will be destroyed. It seems bad again. God hands you a portal gun. He asks you to kindly to travel through the portal back to your world. No. You refuse to take it. Take the portal. God is pretty mad, but he gives you one more time. You have another 35 seconds to go through the portal or the whole universe is destroyed. Blah, 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 blah. It's not looking good. Refuse. Disaster. You're very brave. God says what? Okay, buddy. The time is now. He presses a button on a remote. The whole universe seems to shake. There's an incredibly loud explosion. Everything is destroyed. In the end, nothing is left. Where am I? Damn it. Typo. You are now in nothingness. The only pers other person... Well, no. In the dimension is God. God talks to you. I'm very sorry this is how to end. I hope you are prepared to survive here for the rest of eternity. There's nothing to do in this place. There's no food, no water available here. <laughs> do you have Netflix? God laughs. He gives you a TV and Netflix. <laughs> he gives you a TV and Netflix. Uh, the only thing you can access at the moment is The Office. God goes crazy on Netflix as he never seen anything like it before. Oh, okay. I think that's where we end it. Is that not amazing? What a stupid thing. It's so dumb. I, I love it, though. It's dumb and amazing at the same time. I actually think there's something to the future in narrative gaming like that to create nonlinear experiences. It's got, obviously, it's kind of broken because it's never going to end or, you know, whatever. You could say anything you want to say, but there's something in there. Uh, it's actually free right now, so if you go to character.ai, there's a ton of bots already set up, including this one. Um, let me tell you about some of the others. There's that one. There's a ship's AI, um, a character generator, an AI Linux bot. Um, there's also God, Succubus Queen, Flirty Girl, Gamer Boy, Slang Dictionary, Satan, uh, Albert Einstein, Elon Musk. Uh, these are all fake, obviously. Taylor Swift. Oh, there's tons of these. Warren Buffett. I mean, let's just ask Billy Eilish some questions. Okay, let's just do a couple of them. I'll say, um, hi. Are you smoking pot? And Billy Eilish says to me, No, I'm listening to music and feeling a little strange in my head at the moment because I realize that I have a few more years before graduating and I ex than I expected and I'm feeling like I'm wasting my time right now because I can't take on classes. I really want to go in order to finish sooner because of a lot of things I don't take are in the same time slot or they don't exist as online classes. Oh, I can't talk to her anymore. She's killing me. Anyway, you can make your own. So if you log into this thing, you can create your own your own um, thing. So there's a Scott Johnson bot in here somewhere. Um, and a lot of it, it just gathers. If it, you know, if your name's some semi unique, it'll just gather information. Life coach, oh, that's crazy. Anyway. Uh. Oh, the video creator's not available yet? Yeah, I'd heard about that, but um, I haven't uh, I haven't seen anything about it. Here's this. There's a link right to it, beta.character.ai. It's an open beta, basically, and it's pretty pretty crazy. 
Um, and it also, it's because you're logged in, it tracks all of your uh, stuff and saves them. So it archives everything we just did. Ugh. All right, that's it. I got to go. Uh, this sort of was a good test. I still lost 6,566 frames. 6.1% of the stream. It's not terrible, but it's not great. I need to go tweak and mess and see if I can't get some settings to... Uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for them to f do a proper fix, but I just I need this to work by core today, so that's why you guys are here bugging. Or why I... Sorry, that's why I had you... That's why some of you came here to help me. You didn't know it, but you're helping me today. So I appreciate the help. Thank you all very, 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 very much. And I believe that'll do it for us. Will it? I don't know. I think it will. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.